Ask Tom on Home Show. Christina from Argyle, Texas has some coil concerns. Yeah, hers is young yet. She has a problem, Tom, because she says it's leaving these drip marks on the ground. Christina writes to us. She says, our AC unit has a leak in the copper line on the outside unit. It does not seem to be taking longer to cool the house in the afternoon. I'm sorry, it does seem to be taking longer to cool the house. Uh, we've had one quote for over $2,000 to repair it, which includes removing the Freon and refilling it. But our unit's four years old. And you can see that stain on the concrete. I've been, let me bring it back up for you. I've been seeing very small drifts, but I'm not sure. But not a demonstrating today. She says, what's your advice on this repair, Tom? I think the price is outrageous. If it's what is I see and what she's telling me. Now, I might have not been part of a conversation where something else is going on there too. But the, the stain is the oil. Uh, you'll get a very small drip in, in a refrigeration line, and it looks like that's where they soldered it together. And it looks like it's at that joint. So as far as that goes, you're going to have that oil stain. And that's how you see sometimes you find your leaks is because there'll be an oil stain on the coil or somewhere where you just know what it is. Uh, so the drip isn't the big issue, and it's not that you have to insulate it to keep it from sweating because it's not a sweat. It's the oil from the refrigerant. But as far as that goes, $2,000, of course you fix it, but you get someone that can come in there and just take that piece out and sweat a, sweat a uh, new line in there. Reclaiming the refrigerant is not a big deal and you can reuse it, uh, especially if it's an R410A, it's, it would be a ridiculous thing. Four years old, it's gonna be an R410A. So for anybody who wants $2,000 just to fix that little leak, if that's what it is, that joint that the sweating broke, I think she needs to find somebody else. Yeah, and that's a good point, Tom. We talk about this regularly, that you know the most important day of your air conditioner's life is the day it goes in because it can save you so much money down the road. And you want to pick not just the air conditioner, but the people who put it in. Absolutely. I had mine fixed today on my garage. It's an old one. And they had to put in new R22, not a lot, a few pounds. They had to put in some leak uh, stop to see. We're, we're going to do an experiment to see if we can stop the leak. If not then that my company, which is, uh, you know, Absolute Comfort Air, they're going to uh, uh, credit it to a new system and I'll have to buy a new condensing unit, but hopefully that won't happen. But the fact of the matter is I spent $400, 400 and some dollars as opposed to 2000 and it probably uh, was a little more difficult and the time consuming than it would be to fix that. So I just think that 2000 and the repair cost is unreasonable. I do think maybe the unit is vibrating and that's where a sweat joint is and the joint wasn't done real well. It looks kind of sloppy actually. Mike can only see so much on a picture and it just needs to be redetailed a little bit and then the charge needs to go in. But the fact that she says it doesn't cool as well over time is because you're losing refrigerant and yes you're going to get that to happen and eventually it won't cool at all. All right, you got a question? Tom saves mo save you money. Go over to homeshoreyo.com and click on that Ask Tom button right there on the home page. Is that blue one? And it'll bring up this page right here where you can either send us your question using our form or you can record a video. It'll take you to this page right here where you can fill it out. And you see, you can add pictures and everything else. Helps us do a better job answering you because we post a new one of these every day at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page, and the YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed there, wish you would. And when you watch the videos, give them a thumbs up because it helps us. It helps other people because it makes the video easier to find.